Can you imagine being stuck in a never-ending time loop where the day just kept repeating itself over and over again? How would you handle it? Would you go crazy? Or would you use it to your advantage? Well, that's the question our character in the film Groundhog Day has to answer. This film came out in February of 1993. Wow! 30 years! How time flies. And a lot of other films have been doing this same premise after Groundhog Day, since Groundhog Day came out. Films like Edge of Tomorrow, Boss Level, Happy Death Day 1 and 2, to name a few. It was directed by Harold Ramis and stars Bill Murray as Phil, a selfish weatherman who has to go to this small town called Puxatawney for Groundhog's Day to cover the celebration. Phil doesn't like it, and he's not a small city guy, and he doesn't like anything about it. He's accompanied by Rito's assistant and Larry... The camera guy, and they're played by Andy McDowell and Chris Elliott. Very good in their performances, too. So Phil covers the Groundhog Day and just wants to get the day over with as possible so he can go home. <laughs> the problem is, when he wakes up the next morning, it's Groundhog Day all over again. Phil doesn't understand what's happening and why this is happening, why this is going on, but. He has to figure this out, or will he? Will he figure it out? That's the question. Well, I'm not going to spoil it for you, so you're going to have to see the see the movie to find out. I mean, I know pretty much what happens, but I don't want to spoil it for you in case you haven't seen it. i got to say, I like the way the film... Here's one little spoiler I will give away. The film never really gives an explanation why... Phil is caught in this never-ending time loop. Well, I guess the filmmakers wanted the audience to come up with their solution, their explanation why this is happening. But Bill Murray plays it with such comedic, comedic touches as he, as he's best known for given. Andy McDowell is good as Rita. Very gorgeous in this, very gorgeous in this film. Well, she's still gorgeous today, but she was. Just as gorgeous then, too. She, her character Rita is sweet, friendly, but not naive, and she shows she has her limits. Chris Elliott is also good as the cameraman Larry, who does bring his funny moments to the film, too. So is Brian Doyle Murray as Buster, who hosts the Groundhog Day. Of course, we all know he's Bill Murray's brother. I heard... Um, Bill Murray and Harold Ramis, who worked together on, who, who directed him in Caddyshack and worked together in Stripes and the two Ghostbuster films, had a bad falling out during the filming. And that's just a surprise to hear because I thought they were the best buds, but they had a bad falling out and the two did not speak to each other. Well, they did reconcile in weeks before Harold Ramis' passing. But luckily, what went on off camera didn't come through on camera, so. I gotta say, Groundhog Day is a entertainingly fun film. I give it a 9 out of 10. <laughs> and it sure is a good time.